Would you get in the water with a shark? What about hundreds of them? I'm scared of huge sharks. I mean, who wasn't? But I've heard they're not as dangerous as they say. So on a recent trip to French Polynesia, I dived with one. And then this happened. And here's where I stand now on them. Let's back up for some context. I'm Kristen and I've been traveling the world for the past nine years, mostly alone. I do lots of adventurous stuff, but this is probably the craziest animal encounter I've ever had. I'm joined by my friend Jen as we head to Fakarava in French Polynesia, AKA the shark capital of the South Pacific. Hello from the Northern part of Fakarava, an island really in the middle of nowhere. And I'm blown away by how beautiful and lush it is. This is a coral atoll and you can be standing on one side and totally see the other. There's a lagoon and then an ocean. And the craziest thing about it is that it's all made of coral sand. So there's a whole bunch of these called the Tuamotus in French Polynesia. And we are here for one big thing. Time to dive. <laughs> oh, gorgeous. Our first few dives on Fakarava were just going to be with reef sharks, which aren't dangerous to humans. Still, it's kind of crazy being surrounded by hundreds of sharks and I didn't know how I would handle it. As we descended, we saw the first sharks. And you know what? They didn't even care that we were there. It was just beautiful to watch them and I was amazed by how calm that I was. The first dive was an amazing introduction, but we still had a lot of practice left to go before we tried tigers. Diving's awesome. <laughs> now it's time for lunch. Just another sunny day in Southern California. It's where the people came to play. It's always fresh caught and so yummy and not even the least bit fishy, which I really appreciate. What you got there? I have sashimi, poisson cru, and fish carpaccio, which is my favorite. It's thin sliced raw fish, but they put, I mean, every place is different. This looks like garlic, some curry powder, some green leaf. Could it be basil? I don't know, but it's always delicious. Jen prefers flaccid french fries, and I prefer crunchy, so between the two of us, we get it done. <laughs> oh, look at that floppy fry. Mm. Oh, yes. <laughs> Good lunch. You ready to bike all the way over there? <laughs> we got a long way to go. <laughs> the lunch was great and the first dive was behind us. We had a lot more to do, but word on the street was there was a stunning beach at the north end, so we had to check it out. The thing is, it's not just nine kilometers of nice flat road. It turns very shitty and potholy before you even get to kilometer four. Ooh, here we go. So we're just casually biking next to the landing strip here at Takarada Airport. And you have to know when the flight's coming in because they'll close this access road and uh, you could get checked out here. How stupid am I being filming right now? <laughs> Very stupid. Ooh, bottle. Okay, number eight. One more sweaty kilometer to go. Can you see the face sweat? I can like taste it. Okay, nine. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the most beautiful beach in the world where palm trees grow sideways. Plage du Peca no. Having the beach all to ourselves, we felt on top of the world. And while I knew we had a lot more ahead of us in terms of even more sharks and even bigger ones, 
for just a moment. I soaked it all in. South, and we're here to dive with hopefully hundreds, thousands, millions of sharks. We're at a place here called Tetamanu Village. So this place is full of black tip reef sharks. You can see them everywhere when you're eating, when you're just walking around. They're just swimming around everywhere, and it's famous for the wall of sharks. So we're going on three dives today. One in the evening, which is supposed to be the craziest. So it's eight in the morning now, getting ready to head out on our first one. I, I. My bop and unlike me too. No roof on my top and my babe see through. Hating on the pen, don't stop, shit ain't gon' feed you. I've been all on my grind, so why I need you? Baby girl, love my bop and unlike me too. No roof on my top and my babe see through. Hating on the pen, don't stop, shit ain't gon' feed you. I've been all on my grind, so why I need you? Big flex, my swole up, double cup and I'm pulled up. Nigga hating like hold up, what's the problem? I'm pulled up. Big flex, my swole up, hard body they fold up. Shawty say I done glowed up. Double How was the diving? It was fucking awesome. <laughs> so many sharks. <laughs> and the night dive, she's done it once before. I'd never done the night dive, and she told me it was in all capitals wild, and it was. Wild. That was so cool. Room wasn't my favorite, to be honest. But probably be back anyway. <laughs> we saw tiger sharks coming up. Right, time to go. Hello from Tiki How. I'm so excited to be here, and we just arrived at our Airbnb, which is. Adorable. Has everything we need too, and by that I mean coffee makings in my horrible, terrible, huge bag. Best way I've found to transport huge free diving fins. Bakarava was awesome. It's always amazing to swim with that many sharks at once, but we actually have an even bigger predator that we want to swim with. So we came to the island of Tikehau. There's a guy here named Denny who takes people out to swim with tiger sharks, which we're about to get ready and head out on. Is it stupid? Maybe. Is it going to be really fun and exciting? I hope so. I hope we find them. I hope that I come back with all my limbs. In three minutes, we're leaving to swim with tiger sharks. How do you feel? So excited! <laughs> Me too. Yeah, I'm more excited than nervous. All right, let's go swim with some tiger sharks. Maybe it's true that blood attracts tigers. If so, I am so ready to go from my bike fall in Malpiti, and just now I cut myself a little getting on the boat. Swimming with tiger sharks isn't something to take lightly and isn't something you can do easily in most of the world. Denny, who's been studying and swimming with them for over a decade, has experience that I trusted. And while normally getting in the water with something that can easily kill you might sound insane, his enthusiasm put me more at ease. He explained that if the shark came close, we just needed to push her gently away and that it was curiosity more than anything. So we waited a little, had a little lunch, and before we knew it, there she was. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Chupa is a four meter female and she is very nice, very friendly. Yay! <laughs> I didn't know how I was going to feel actually getting in the water with her, but once I did, the world seemed to slow down and I just felt like we were convening. I admired her just from the surface for a little bit, and then we got braver and dived down. A lot of people 
people watching this probably think we're crazy, and maybe we are, but I couldn't help but feel like she was anything but gentle and at times a little too curious, but nothing we couldn't handle. I loved swimming with her, marveling at her size and grace. Although this isn't for everyone, I hope anyone seeing this who's afraid of sharks knows that they're just creatures like we are and they have so much more reason to fear us than we do them. Sharks only attacked unprovoked 57 times in 2020. We have a much better chance of dying from a dog or insect bite than by a shark. We even have a better chance of being struck by lightning. And yet why do we treat these important parts of the chain that keeps the ocean alive so terribly? Over 100 million sharks are killed each year for their fins. It's abhorrent, and when you consider those odds, I hope you'll agree, they're beautiful and they deserve so much better. I hope if you're afraid of sharks, maybe this video helped you feel a little bit differently about them.